So what is going on YouTube, my name is Mehul and welcome to this video in which I want to discuss about colors in CSS. Now in CSS you're gonna make use of colors a lot of times not only for you know just coloring the text but in a lot of other places like background gradients for example like uh, the colors of borders or maybe um, you know any other place which accepts colors as a, as a thing. So First things first, I'm going to target the h1 which is on our page and you can see on our index.html I have the h1 tag and our style sheet linked just fine. So we're going to target h1 and I'm going to just going to say color as one of the properties. Now color can be um, you know set in more or less four ways which I can think of right off my mind. The first one is making use of a word. So I'm going to say blue or green right. Or red for example so if you go with red you're gonna see that this text turns red so the deal is that more or less you're gonna see you can actually style the the color of anything using words that is fine but words are limited and there are a lot of colors right you can choose from so that gives us a, another way that is the hex value of the color now the hex value of the color starts with a hash symbol followed by six alphanumeric characters. Now those, they, that could be alphabets or that could be uh, digits. So I'm going to give six zeros right off the bat and this means the color black, right? You can see here's a representation as well. So if you go ahead, if you're on code dump side, if you hover over this, you're going to see that you can actually pick a color from the whole spectrum. So I'm going to go ahead and pick this color right here. Right, and I'm going to see that it has this associated value of 4D6FE0. Right, you see that uh, what's exactly happening here. I don't want to get behind the mathematics of this, but you can divide this into uh, groups of two characters each, and you can basically take out the value of each the each of the character. Right, and then you can think of those things as the concentration of red, green and blue colors. So not to confuse you, this is not really required, but just for those folks out there who are, uh, you know, very curious about how this, how this representation actually transforms into a color, this 4D basically means uh, the concentration of red color on the screen, on, on that particular pixel. The 6F means green color and the E0 means blue color, right? So what happens if I make this 0, 0? So you see that we do not have blue color at all, right? If I make this 0, 0, then we do not have green color at all, but we have a 4D color of red. And what happens if I make this FF? That is the highest number possible in hexadecimal. So that means I am all red. So let's make all black and let's remove these two numbers from between and make it all green right now technically speaking uh, a thing you should know but not not very necessary but I have I don't know why but the green in the HTML standard is not the green which should be according to the hex value right this is way too green and the green which is defined with the green keyword is a darker shade right you can see it's 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 just half the green. It's not full green. However, if you take a look at red color, you're going to see it's full green, uh, just like we discussed earlier, right? Or if you take a look at blue color, you're going to see it's full blue as well, just like we took a look. All right, so hex values are fun and cool, but there's another representation you can make use of, and that is called the RGB notation. So RGB notation, is basically a way to give colors separately to red, green and blue components of the pixel. So you basically have to specify three individual values here denoting the amount of concentration of that particular color on that pixel, right? And this value goes from zero all the way up to 255. So if I give this 255, you're gonna see we get a red shade you cannot give 256 as you know it's it's just not valid right 
CSS will still try to make some sense out of it. And maybe, you know, I don't know how it works under the hood if it overflows the value, but just the thumb of rule, uh, this value should be uh, zero and 255 in between zero and 255, both are inclusive. So if this is 255, there's that. If we make the blue shade as well, 255, you're gonna see that we get yellow. So now you know that 100% red combined with 100% blue is actually a yellow color, right? And if I give this 100% green as well, we get white color. So there's that. If I make this 50%, um, we get pink. So, you know, you can just play around this all day, but that's the idea. So this is the RGB notation, right? So you specify individual components and you get the color. One thing I want to tell you is this RGB notation is interchangeable completely with the hex notation. So you can basically represent colors in hex as well as an RGB. It does not really matter, right? Um, with RGB, you can do one more cool thing, which you can do with hex colors as well, but uh, it's, it's not very much supported with hex. So with RGB, you can specify another parameter called RGBA, where A stands for the alpha value, right? So if I go ahead and say this is... Uh, um, I don't know. I'm just going to give this 100, 100, 100 randomly. Let's see what color that is. And I'm going to give alpha as one. So it, it's kind of a grayish color, right? But this alpha parameter right here, this parameter means how transparent the color should be. So if I give it a 0.5, you're going to see that we get a lighter grayish color. Now the color itself is not lighter. The color is transparent. And what do I mean by that? Let's just go ahead and give this a background color of, let's say, red, right? So you see that I'm kind of able to see through the text here, right? If I increase the opacity back to one, you're going to see that we have solid text. Let me just go ahead and make this, uh, in fact, blue, right? And then we'll understand, or rather green, doesn't, doesn't matter really. Now, if I go ahead and make the 0 0.1 instead, you're going to see that we are able to see a lot through this text, right? So if you make it 0 0.8, you're going to see, um, you know, it would kind of work in a much better way with images, but you know, you get the idea that the alpha here controls, controls the transparency of the color and you can control it right here. And you're going to see that it actually really works. So yeah, that is one way of, uh, uh, working with style sheets and colors in CSS. So there's another notation called HSL, which can also be used, but I would, when you're starting off, I would just prefer to stick with RGB or hex value because these two are um, the most used ones and pretty much you can do almost everything you want with these two notations only. So yeah, that's basically it for this video. If you liked it, don't forget to like and subscribe. Thank you for watching and I'll see you then in the next one.